Today's tutorial is showing a range of color to begin this animal eye project. And I'll be demonstrating ways to use multiple colors to bring lifelike features to your drawing. I'm starting with a bit of a gold. I have a nice range of colors up here. Um, what I am looking at is a reflection in the eye. There's actually colored details in the reflection of the eye. There's some gold flecks of color in there. We definitely have a highlight in there as well. And then, of course, lots of black details. As I'm working today, I'm going to go pretty slow. I think it's fairly straightforward that when you're looking at details such as in this frog's eye, you are going to be seeing um, this is not something that goes quickly. This is something that does take some time and effort to be able to make it look as you see it in the picture. So what I'm doing is looking more like a stipple technique, which is making um, details using dots. I started with a nice outline using the tracing technique. And now I'm just real lightly going in and, actually I'm not lightly. I am actually pressing pretty hard with my colored pencil. I think the misconception with colored pencils is that when you are in kindergarten and perhaps in your early years, you are taught to kind of go in with a real light shading. This is different. You're gonna want it to become very um, solid, um, opaque, meaning not see-through. And in order to do that, you do need to press hard. In the beginning, I don't always press hard. Sometimes I build up multiple colors before I get to all of those um, really deep, heavy colors and textures. So right now I'm just starting with what looks like a stipple and I'm trying to always refer to my picture as closely as I can. Maybe I need to move this over here so you guys can see it a little better. And I'm gonna zoom in. That's a little better. So again, the idea is that I am starting to bring in those little flecks of gold. Each time I touch the paper, I'm pressing down pretty purposefully so that that color really stays on there. There's, there's more than just gold, but gold stands out quite a bit in this particular drawing. I see a nice white area right in here. So I am going to right now just work around that. Pay real close attention when you see details such as a reflection or a highlight. Those are so, so important to making the eyeballs look realistic. If you were to kind of, you know, ignore that, then you've, you know, made a pretty grave mistake can be undone by using a paint pen later on, um, but it's important to know that. Now, just for the sake of showing you kind of what else I'm going to be doing, before I complete all of what I'm doing with the gold, I'm also going to go in with a lighter color right on top, okay? So maybe to you, you're looking at this and you're thinking, well, I don't think that was necessary. I don't think you needed to put in another color. The more colors you add, I feel like the more it's going to become realistic. So I definitely had a gold and then I'm using just a little, little bit of orange as well. And this is going to become a layering of colors. So the layering of those colors and the purpose of that is to show that, well, maybe in, that, in this picture it looks like a solid color, um, but it, to me it's a bit of a mix between an orange and a gold. And the purpose is also to show you that your animal eye, when you apply different details, 
And I'm gonna go in a little bit. I'm gonna have to go back over this with the black, just a tiny bit. So the shape got away from me. I like that this frog has these gold flecks of color because it also introduces to you that you do not always do, uh, when you're adding color or applying color, you don't always do the this motion of side to side coloring. There, You don't wanna see your lines with your colored pencil. You want it to blend and you want it to look like the picture. Do you see lines in the picture of coloring side to side? You do not. So that's going to be something that it will be looking for and learning to, you know, bring attention to. So right now I am applying color in a, what I would call a stipple technique. You'll hear, got, hear about that again. What we're doing is just instead of just bringing in a motion of side to side coloring, I am bringing in those details using a technique that gives it a texture. So is it starting to look a little bit like the frog? Does it resemble it? If you're looking at your picture and it's beginning to resemble what you see, you're already on the right track, okay? Lots and lots of different colors coming together will help to make this look the way it is in the picture. Oops. Accidentally made a huge mark on my picture. I was pressing too hard. Oh man, I accidentally went over a huge area that was supposed to have my highlight. So I do things like that on purpose to show you guys what do I do if I make a mistake, especially in an area that's supposed to be white. I purchased paint pens and they work similar to like a white out. So I'm gonna go back over this tiny little area where that white should have been. And I'm gonna color on my paper to make sure it's working. Now I'm going to be adding more detail to that area a little bit later on.
Another detail to pay attention to is that you don't want to be making lines with your with your little dots. For example, look at my if my pencil was going in this direction, I would start seeing perfect little lines and these dots are yeah, and these dots are really random.